Hello, it's Serena from Festival Bookkeeping. This video will run through the five steps you need to take to get Xero and Clinico integrated with regard to clearing accounts. Now we know that when we have Xero and Clinico integrated, the invoices and the invoice payments from Clinico get automatically pushed through to Xero. Now when we use clearing accounts, we're adding an extra step. So when an invoice is marked off as paid in Clinico, over in Xero, it's going to show that the invoice was actually paid into the clearing account. And when we reconcile our Xero bank feed, we're going to show that the money has now moved out of the clearing account and has been deposited into our business bank account. We know technically that the money has gone into our business bank account, but we're just adding an extra step so that we can keep a tighter control on uh, the various payment methods. The first thing we need to do is ensure we have a Xero account set up. So if you're a small business owner and you're not using Xero already, hop over onto the website and get uh, started with Xero or contact a Xero advisor and they will get you set up ready to go. The second thing you need to do is have a think about what different payment methods your customers or your patients are using. So some might pay by cash, some by FPOS, uh, direct deposit, maybe American Express, just to name a few. If you've got uh, more than one, jot them down on a piece of paper and uh, you might find this helpful as we work through the various steps. The third step is um, setting up our new clearing accounts in Xero. We do this through the chart of accounts. We're going to create a new account and this will be the account type current asset. Name your account well. So for example, your cash payments, you might want to go through a clearing account called clearing account dash cash. The tax setting needs to be set at BAS excluded. So this is regardless of whether you are registered for GST or not. The reason being is that the invoices themselves will actually take care of the GST side of things for you. Lastly, when setting up this account, you want to make sure that the little box next to enable payments to this account has been ticked. Next, step number four, we need to make sure that Xero has been integrated with Clinico. So if your two softwares aren't already integrated and speaking to each other, you need to do this through Clinico. Uh, go into settings and then integration and follow the prompts from there. I won't go further into uh, this side of things because I did want to focus more on the clearing accounts in this video. Lastly, in Clinico, we are going to uh, link our payment types to our newly created Xero clearing accounts. So in settings and then under finances, you will see payment types and work your way through linking each payment type with your new Xero clearing account. If you have more than one Xero clearing account, you'll need to do this step for each of those clearing accounts. I would actually even recommend writing down or recording somewhere which payment types you have matched to which Xero clearing account, just to save a few headaches down the track for either you or uh, anyone else that is using Clear Clinico or Xero for you. So to recap, when a patient pays a Clinico invoice, that payment is pushed through to Xero as being deposited into the clearing account. And when you reconcile your Xero bank feed, you are showing that the money has moved from the clearing account into your business bank account. So money going in and out your clearing account and we always want that clearing account to come back to a zero balance. A couple of extra tips that might help save a few headaches for you. Number one, ensure the person that is marking your clinical invoices off as paid understands how important it is to select the correct payment type and the correct payment date. Secondly, the person that is reconciling your zero bank feed must understand uh, the importance of selecting the correct account, 
particularly if it's a, a clearing account. And even better if they know how to go into the clearing accounts and check that these are coming back to zero each time. That is it. That's five steps to integrating Zero and Clinico with regard to clearing accounts. Festival Bookkeeping specialise in Zero Bookkeeping for Australian business owners. And we do a lot of work with business owners using Zero and Clinico. So we have a few resources over on our website, some other tutorials and articles. So feel free to pop over there. It's festivalbookkeeping.com.au.